Hey everybody, what's up? Oh. In this video I'm gonna tell you how I shot a real stunt actor of Captain America feeding cats on the streets of Taiwan with my recently purchased Sony a7 III. What trouble I faced, what lessons I learned about filmmaking from this experience. Ni hao. Yeah. And why it was a hassle to find stray cats in Taiwan. So make sure to stick till the end to see the final work. Let's roll. My first video I shot in my place with very poor light, which resulted in similar video quality. Plus I didn't adjust the camera right. Amateur, you got what you got. So I actually bought new lights and while they're being shipped from <coughs> China, I'm shooting my second video outside, combining it with arguably easy hike in the mountains of central Taiwan. I'm dying. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago I bought my first camera Sony a7 III and after a couple of weeks of complete frustration I finally got myself together get your shit together and took it to the battlefield <sighs> Peter a friend of mine a few years ago worked as a stunt for Captain America and since then he's got his own suit and has been using it from time to time for different purposes now he's living in Taiwan takes parts in different projects like commercials or some local movies or dramas or TV series this time I asked him to play the main role in a short story that I called anybody can be a hero in a nutshell the story is pretty simple the first scene he's putting on the costume the second scene he's on a rooftop looking at the city cliche the third scene he's buying cat food. The fourth scene in the last one he's getting out feeding stray cats. So first, second and third we nailed pretty quickly. Nailed it! I particularly enjoyed the rooftop part. Epic shots to my eye, you'll see later. Hey you, promise let's deliver more. But the last part, feeding stray cats, got quite difficult. We were done with the first three parts around 7 p.m. And about that time we got out looking for stray cats. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, 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 cats. cats, 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 cats. But it turned out that stray cats getting out only about midnight when the noise of the city goes down. We were wandering around about two hours. Peter was dying sweaty. Taiwan has subtropical climate and it gets pretty damn hot. Plus his costume is quite thick and tight. We changed a couple of locations. The main transport here is scooters. You can imagine Captain America riding a scooter holding his shield between his legs. After three hours of fruitless search we finally came across a few stray cats. We finally came across a few stray cats, but it wasn't easy to approach them. At that hour of the day, cats are easily scared. But we got it. Got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We, got it. We, ba -ba -ba we even got lucky and met a little Batman. Can you imagine that? What are the odds for two characters from DC and Marvel universes meet on the streets of Taiwan? All right, all right. Before we roll the final work, let me tell you about the filmmaking lessons that I've learned from that experience and that I hope would be helpful for you dear viewer on your creative journey but before that destroy that like button abuse it fill that thumb button with that peach black juicy ink first you want to plan everything beforehand and I'm not talking about catching stray cats and keeping them for shooting I'm talking about the shooting itself because at that time I hadn't planned almost anything before we went shooting I had just a general idea in my head I was completely relying on my imagination and creativity Whoa, this butterfly is beautiful but it turned out it wasn't enough at many points during the filmmaking process I just didn't know what to do what angle to pick and how to set the scene all together and believe me the frustration from it can be very discouraging so please guys plan ahead cultivate your confidence this is very important that's what will keep you from giving up so next time I go shooting I definitely put down a plan with scenes and angles maybe even simple sketches of shots lesson number two is technical Sony a7 III is able to film 4k resolution at 30 frames per second but at that time I couldn't shoot in 4k because of the memory card that memory card I got from the shop where I bought my camera for free the most important thing for you to pay attention to as a filmmaker is what goes after that V here for shooting in 4k resolution you're gonna get yourself a card with V30 no wonder the shop gave it to me for free all right the third lesson and the last one that I learned from that experience is that when filming stabilization is important I realized that I gotta invest in the quality gimbal or camera Slider. 
This is one of the most important factors that makes your footage look cinematic. It makes the viewer get immersed in your story. But if your camera is constantly shaking, it reminds the viewer that there is a person holding the camera. By the way, sometimes it's done on purpose to deliver the sense of dynamics and nervousness. For example, if you shoot a chase or a documentary, this technique would come in handy. This technique would come in handy. I already started my research on gimbals that you will see in further videos, so stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, 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 tuned. So this is pretty much all what I learned from this experience about filmmaking. If you found it useful or at least entertaining, please take five seconds of your time and click that like button. It's free for you, but it helps me a ton. All right, I won't tire you anymore with my ranting. Let's watch my first short story, Anybody Can Be a Hero. Peace. Anybody can be a hero, you too.